Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial about Serial Tool. Um, in this tutorial we will we'll try the version 1.8.0. So first of all we go and check our serial ports. So we have in this case in our system we have the COM number 4 and COM number 5. And we need to assign these COM ports to a serial port as the software is working with multiple, multiple serial ports at the same time. So we need to assign the COM port to a serial port. In this case, we assign COM port number four to serial port number one and COM port number five to serial port number two. Okay, we open them, both of them. Those serial ports are connected to each other with a TX uh, signal of serial number one goes to RX signal of port number two and vice versa. So let's try to send a buffer from one port to the other. Test buffer from serial one to serial two. And there we go. We send it. And there we go. This is the packet list. So from here we can check our packets what we received and what we transmitted. All packets will be listed here in a session. So let's try the alarm function. Let's clear it. So let's activate alarms. And we call test alarm number one that triggers on port number two. And when we receive what it contains, test buffer. So in ASCII format. So we activate this alarm and we send it. And here it triggered. So this function is very, very useful when you're waiting for a specific packet uh, to reach the uh, COM port that you're observing. Okay, so disconnect this for a while. And let's go for the auto, sorry, for the auto answer, which is right here. So in this case, if we receive from serial, uh, we receive in the serial port number two, we receive the ASCII text with the test as a string, we respond back to with a, I got it. We activate it and we send it. And there we go. So basically what happens here is the serial port number one sends a, um, the buffer to the serial port number two, which receives um, this, the first buffer and then answers back with the uh, I got it message. And of course, the serial port number one will receive this I got it message back. And everything again is listed right here. So let's try to send multiple buffers. So in this case, we send multiple times the same buffer. So hello world, we send it from serial port number one. Let's say 10 times with the interval of 200 milliseconds. And there we go, and we send it. Okay, um, we want to, to add an extra, um, some extra value. We we'll start from zero, we end to 10 in ASCII format before the uh, buffer. So before the um, hello word and then also after the hello word. We start from 20 from 10 and we go to 20. There we go. Let's see what happens. Just gonna this one, let's go. And here we set a counter. As you can see, that adds this value. In this case, it's zero and ends with 10. And then it goes for one and ends for 11 and so forth until the end. So that's all for this quick tutorial um, and let's catch up at the next one.